This is Yorkshire Television in colour. Want something fresh? Here is a box. A musical box. Can you guess what is in it today? My name is Sam Tyler. I had an accident and I woke up in 1973. Am I mad? In a coma? Or back in time? Whatever's happened, it's like I've landed on a different planet. Now maybe if I can work out the reason, I can get home. Yeah, baby! <laughs> All his friends wake up too. Hello, everyone. Here comes Bot. We're sorry to interrupt this program, but we have a news flash. Pew, pew, Barney McGrew, Tuffet, Dibble, Grub. Pew, pew, Barney McGrew. As you can see, it's very useful indeed having arms as long as Mr. Tickle. Here is the clock, telling the time for Trompton. Time flies by when I'm the driver of a train, and I ride on the foot plate there and back again. Hi there, guys. Hello, so we've got one of our dirty and flirty quizzes happening at the House of SMMs. All the details are coming up. Well, it's not hosted by us. Let's introduce you to who is hosting it. Hiya, darling. Hiya. It's me, Brandy Cobbler. And it's me, Sherry Stone. We can't wait to get quizzical with you. And physical. So we'll see you at the quiz. Ta-ra.
Thank you very much. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm having a dinner party and I seem to run out of coffee. You can be anything you want to be there. You can see anything you want to see there. There's excitement in the air for you and me there. Fancy free there. Take your family there. But you've got to be there. Yeah. you just got to be there. Hello customers, it's nearly six o'clock. Pack up and piss off. Oh, there's still a black there. Um we've been joined. Uh we've been joined uh tonight yep. by um would you want to introduce yourself? Um you can call me uh UPVC Maggie Bob. Um, so, welcome uh, to the Wigan Slingback with me, Jamie, and... Uh, UPVC Maggie Bog. UPVC Maggie Bog. Right. Put that down, Thank Maggie. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, we'll do a very quick roll call, because um, if anyone's got any questions for Maggie, then uh, let us know, because, of course, tonight is our cop show special. That's why I'm here. So, Maggie's here. Um, Keep an eye on things. <laughs> Keeping an eye on things. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that Maggie Bog was joining me until, um, well, about ten minutes ago when Maggie Bog appeared in the room. Well, we do busts, you know, at six in the morning. So, um... It... Uh, this time, though, I didn't kick you down your door. <laughs> so it's nice to have been joined. Do you know what? I even forgot to get changed because you shocked me so much. So Well, you you look like you're, you're an inmate. I'm just in my t-shirt. An I might, inmate. I might go and put something swanky on in a minute. Um, let's have a look who's here. So Chums1243 is in. Paul McFarlane is here, shouting in his capitals. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Yeah. Uh, Tracy30 is here. Joshua yeah, I know Spencer. Her. Yeah, I know him. Um, Nibbles and Bubbles are here. I know. I, I mean, I've just been by their place. You're staying at theirs, aren't you, yeah, tonight? Yeah, yeah. Maggie's got the keys. Yeah. Um, it's because Nibbles and Bubbles are in Walt Disney Florida. World. Florida. Um, so, thank you for joining us, guys. I lovely, hope, lovely to see you. I hope our little faces are going to make the vlog. I hope, um, you, I hope you're going out after this. Uh, Pauline Grant is here. Pauline right. Grant is Hello, raring Pauline to Grant. go. Uh, Butterfly Yube is here and says hi but to everyone. Butterfly Yube. Yeah. <laughs> um, BG Bear's here. Ah, BG Bear, yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I know him. BG Bear says he is following Nibbles and Bubbles' adventures in Disney. We all are, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, there are daily vlogs are coming out. So, so you can keep up little mini vlogs and see yep. what they're up to and what they're eating. What fun. Uh, Darren B is here. You know Darren B, don't you? Yeah, Darren my Bramley. little, little Bramley at all. You've been on a few of his programmes, haven't you? I have, yeah. What, yep. what have you been on? Crime Watch. Yep. Um, cops. <laughs> cops, C-O-P-S. Were you on a... Loose... And that one where it's run live from their body cams. Have you been on Loose Women? Um, I've been a loose woman in my time, but I've not been on the show, no. What do you think about Loose Women, the programme? I don't mind it. I do mean, you? No, I don't it's mind four it. level-headed women <laughs> talking about today's issues. <laughs> and I don't mind that. Yeah, but they always turn the issues to their downstairs, don't they, or their sex lives? Yeah, no, no mention bosses. Uh, the Duchess is here. Um, hello to the Duchess. Hello, Duchess. Hidden Doorways here. Oh, is that somebody new, is it? Yeah. Um, Kim Peterson is here. Kim. Ah, Kim and Jens from Denmark. I want to go over there. You want to go over to Denmark? I look at the policing. <laughs> and the bus system. And the bus system in Denmark. Um, Dave in uh, South Carolina has popped in but popped out again. He's moving house. 
Yeah, he's moving out. So, um, so he's he's uh, just said hello and goodbye. Joel Hazeldean is in. Oh, yep, I know them three. Um, Mr. Venus is here. Oh, uh, say hiya. Hello, darling. How are you doing? I mean, Mr. Venus likes a hiya. Hiya. <laughs> uh, Simon B's here. Um, Joel Hazeldean, I've said. Dave, I've said. Dave's favourite cop shows from the States, yeah? Yeah. I don't know if you'll know any of these, Maggie. I will. Adam 12. Yeah, I know that one. Starsky and Hutch. Oh, forget that. Do you like the one in the cardigan or the other one? Oh, the blonde one. Ooh. Okay. Hill Street Blues. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Barney Miller. No, I don't know that one. Cagney and Lacey. Well, we all know the girls, don't we? We do. Um, Eat Me Cafe and Social are here. Ah, oh, little... Uh, Stephen and Martin. Yeah, little boys there. I love them too. Um, Wes Davies is here. Yep, is that a film director? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think mm-hmm. so. Um, Joshua Spencer, I've said yeah, no, that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm Lee not Fern is in. Oh, little Lee there, little your original lad. Yep, AD yep. is here. Yep. Uh, Coral Daft is here. Coral oh. Daft is uh, in a very soggy Dorset. Yep, I know, she likes, she likes the glass of the old uh, garden shed. It's very it? soggy here, isn't it, Maggie? It's Where soggy, it's, honestly, it's raining, it's been raining all day. Um, Pete Potofsky is here. Hello, Peter. Pete and Sinner have been all around Yorkshire, but they didn't come to see us. I know. They've even been to your old own, haven't they? Broadstairs. Well, yeah, but they've been up this way. They were in Whitby the other week. Oh, well. I mean, it's and fair, Robin Hood's Bay. It's a fair distance, you know. And do you know what they got today? A what? signed Beryl Reed book. What, from up here? From a, no, from a charity shop down there. Oh, right. Say, they won't find out like that over here. Uh, Stuart Cahoon is here. Oh, yeah. Uh, With Ludlow. I don't know if those, Ludlow's those here. Those two right pair of crims. Paul McFarlane's here, um, who I've mentioned. Um... Lots of names, lots of names. Let's have a look. Anyone else? Um, all my sound checks. Will Venus is here. Oh, now, yeah. Will. Will had um, has just eaten a jacket potato with tuna and sweet corn. Yeah. Will, I'd like to know your method for making a jacket potato. In fact, everyone can share their method for making the perfect jacket. Well, you Maggie, remember, what's yours? Well, you remember mine, don't you, from last year on the bus? Do you remember? The uh, hey, oh, yeah. Simply put them in your pocket in foil. And spend a couple of hours on a hot bus. You should have two good soft jackets. Microwave followed by air fryer. Yep. I mean, these air, airing fryers now are quite popular, aren't they? They are. The airing fryers. Hugh Bonnet is here. Um, Mark Hall is over in the YouTube room. Is that one of the Welsh lads? I believe it is oh, indeed. Oh, little Welsh boys. Can you speak any Welsh? Uh, ping Ping. Partly Poon. And Thanks Driver? I think uh, a, t- a tag driver. <laughs> That river. I don't know. Um, Alex, what's thanks driver in Welsh? And we'll get Maggie to say it. Uh, Scylla Black is here. Surprise, surprise. Scylla's yep, here. Good Only 23 likes so far. So it's... Um, I make click. all this bloody way and all I get is 23 likes. So click that button. Um, Scylla will instruct you how to do that, I'm sure. Uh, let me have a look. Anyone else? Anyone else? Any other names I've missed out? Is Elaine like... Pepper Rogers is in. Oh, Pe- Pepper Rogers. Out and about with David's here. That's NP it. is here. NP's not been around for a while. Oh. Um, I think all these other names I've mentioned. Seven Networks here. Yep. Hello, Hello Seven Jason. Um, mentioned BG. Yep. Um, Pip, I've mentioned Lily Law is in. Andrew. Uh, Lily Law is coming to our quiz on the 25th of August. Um, So anyone else who wants to come and have fun, it's the bank holiday weekend, so it's Friday. Mm. So all of you uh, don't have any excuse. You can come up, spend the weekend in Scarborough, and uh, you can uh, get it all going with the quiz, dirty flirty quiz at the House of S&M. I'm not going. (laughs) You're not going. Thomas from Wolverhampton. I'm not going. Jason Darcy's in. Oh, well, Jason. Well, he's from my hometown. He is from your hometown. Robins. He's from near the Robins. Yeah. He could uh, tell you what's going on. Any Anything you want to know that's going on in Brizzle? Well, I know, don't I? Look at this outfit. <laughs> no, but do you want to ask Jason? No, I don't need I've got, I've got a big... In the back of my bus, i got got loads of uh, bank of screens. <laughs> so you can keep your eye I've, on I've, 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 I've got crimes. A, I've got a little lad who's good over the computer. and we've, we've jammed into all the little CCTVs. <laughs> Dale Ibbotson is in. Um, hello, Dale. Hello, Dale and Caroline, is it? David Maudsley is in. Yep. That's my dad. Hello, David and Anne. I think my mum's most probably there as well. Yep, hello, Anne. Um, Stephen, Martin and Fleur are all at the a house. Fleur. The Eat Me Cafe. Yep, I know Fleur. Do you know Fleur? Yeah, I do. How do, how do you know Fleur? She's got blue hair. <laughs> and she works down in that corner of theatre. 
Do you know, well, I didn't know you knew the corner theatre. Did you keep your eye on it? Cool, I, got it. I, I was in there <laughs> on the way here, mate, checking out. <laughs> checking fire escapes and... So I heard a rumour that your, your two faces were on there somewhere. On the oh, screen. yeah, they are on the screen, but be, uh, be careful. D'Angela is in. Um, Emotional Urban Homestead is in, says oh, hello to Caroline, Maggie Bog. Um, lots of people saying hello to Maggie Bog. Let me have a look. Any um, any messages any from Maggie coming in? Um, What's this? What's this you got over there? <laughs> That's a little bit of Coca-Cola. Um, Lily Law wonders if Matt, you can go and punch his ticket sometime. I don't go punching anybody's ticket. Um, David uh, David Charles is in and says, Maggie, have you ever experienced a moving violation? <laughs> so tell you what, I had a, quite a few moving violations on the way here. <laughs> and I had a dodgy kidney pie. <laughs> and then it's doing all sorts of gut movements. Um, Darren Small, da- uh, Dazzle from Brizzles here. So that's from your yep. neck of the woods as well. Do you know Darren Small? I, I do. Um... Anything you want to say about him? You just, I'm watching you. Um, I'm watching you, small Darren. Uh, Shari, Nibbles and Bubbles, says her daughter was on body cam cops on television. Yep, I know daughter. Um, she is a cop, though. You know her daughter, yep. don't you? Have you served together? Yep, she's one good cop. <laughs> um, and the story she told me about her mother. Gareth Jones is here. Um, so, hello, Gareth. Um Jason says, here, Maggie, they've changed the 24 bus route. It tell, finally tell, goes tell, past the Robins. I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> Again, the Robins asked me to dress like this on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday night. What for? Stag and I'll parties. tell you what, the crime has dropped. <laughs> Not- I just sit in the corner with a lemonade and my little word search book. <laughs> and just the look of me has calmed everything down. I thought it was for, like, stag parties. It is. <laughs> I thought you were doing stripping. Well, that's enough. Uh, BG Bear says, we have the new 81 stop at the end of their road now, Maggie. Yeah, Did good. you sort that out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you. Of, any bus situation that you need sorting out, you let me know. Uh, Darren B says, he once did Gatwick to Dartford filming in the back of a blue light cop car. And they did that distance in eight minutes. Never felt oh. so worried or so ill. You can go fast in the cop car. <laughs> the trouble is I don't drive. So I've got my little mate. She's turned a, a, little, a little van to a police van. Uh, Joshua Spencer says, just uh, give you a spot, a few pricks, pop it in the microwave, then crisp it up in the air fryer. Yep. Lily Law says, jackets need to be done in the oven properly. Butterfly says, one hour, ten minutes in the middle of the oven. Yep. Claire B80 says, halogen oven. Halogen oven, yeah. Emotional Urban Homestead. Yeah. You listen to her, didn't you? Yeah, I do. I in watch, the oven. I watch her videos. On low, 50 minutes. Oh, it's a bit extravagant with the, with the electricity bill, isn't it? That? Now, Will Venus... <laughs> Is going out on a limb here, and Will says five minutes in the microwave wrapped in cling film. Yeah, keep moisturing. 20, yep. 20 minutes in the oven on highest heat. Yeah. Um, the only thing with the cling wrapping, won't it explode? Uh, with the cling film, I'm not Unless sure. Unless he jabs it. No, I don't think you do that. Jab the cling film. There's no point putting cling film on it if you jab it. Well, you jab your potato, don't you, so you don't explode. Um, Simon B says uh, he's joining us from his sick bed this evening. He came down with a bug on his birthday. Oh, no. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Bob Olson uh, says hello, guys. I'm watching from Canada. BG yep. Bear says put your jacket in foil, wrap it in foil, cook in the embers of the bonfire on bonfire night. <laughs> yeah, we should, Only once a year, we though, BG. Kids. Um, uh, Eat Me Cafe says uh, Fleur is here we've mentioned Fleur um, anyone else anyone else anyone else uh, oh Pete Potofsky says his 28 bus here in Hastings is every 70 minutes how stupid so he'd like that? Maggie to get on the case I'll, you know I'll give me a couple of weeks and it'll be every 10 <laughs> bear, you know, bear with now Darren Small says he's from, uh, from Brizzle as you know yeah, yeah, yeah. he says his favourite topping for jacket potato is mashed potato well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> it's a it, bit carb, it, ma- it matches. Uh, Will Venus would like to confirm, Maggie, the cling film is jabbed. I told you, because obviously it would explode. Let me have a look over this side. Cover that in my training. Of our screen. Let me have a look who's here. Um, it's very busy over in Facebook as well, very chit-chatty. Chris Perinda, hello guys from sunny Florida. Hello, Chris. Um, Martin Garten Spence. Oh, hang on. We missed some comments, I think. Well, yeah, because I think Leslie Ann Lynch was the first in in the uh, in this side. I told you it, it misses the comments out. There she is. No, no, no that's, she's... 
So we're missing comment f comment mode follower. Let me see what happens. Oh, what's going on? Comment mode default. No follower. I heard no, a bad thing about this Facebook thing. They just it's on. It changes overnight, and you wake up and it's completely different. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, Maggie. I don't know what's going on in YouTube. We're going to miss some of your hellos. But we've got Leslie Ann Lynch. We've got Melanie Fairley. Hello. Beth and Williams. Martin Garton Spence. Yep. Carrie Louise. K. Lou. Yep. Uh, Mark Hall. Spencer Carter. Spencer Carter. We've not seen your name for a while. That's him on the radio, isn't it? Down, down south. It yeah. is. Yeah. Um, Neil Sandwell. Now, Neil did put a message in, but I've missed it. It's not coming up anymore. But Neil... Um, is in Liverpool for a hospital appointment. Yeah. Went out for an early dinner and yep. said they've got to get get it finished because they're seeing a show. Yeah. She said, what are you watching? She said, the isolation creations. Oh, right. Uh, so the waitress thinks we're on at the Everyman in Liverpool. Or the Funny Girls. Uh, that's in Blackie. Oh, it's Blackpool. Blackpool. That's where it's from, isn't it? Uh, Martin Garten Spence, we need to ask about fair evasion and yep. unsocial behaviour on bu buses. What's the law on heavy petting on the upper deck? Well, I took my goat on the bus, and I was petting that, and I got away with that, and my goat didn't even have to pay a fare. Maggie, I don't think we knew you had a goat. I, I, well, I used to. A pet goat? I used to babysit it. <laughs> have you mentioned that It was before? only a little kid. <laughs> have you mentioned it before? Well, you never asked. Um, uh, oh, Chris Perinder says, did Maggie water, water Chris's plants while you were in his house? I don't need to. It's pissing it it's down. Pissing, it's been pissing down all week. Your, your plants are flourishing. Plants will be floating around your decking. Um, uh, Melanie Fairley, Jack Potatoes, oven, salt sprinkled, lovely and crunchy. Yep. Leon Farrah, eight minutes in the microwave. Martin Garden Spence, microwave at first to save time. Put in the oven with metal skewer through now, to yeah, make sure the centre's cooked. Because that, cause that, that acts as a conductor. You do that, didn't you, Maggie? What? Stick a skewer through the centre of your spud. Yeah, and if you haven't got that, stick a butter knife through it. There we go. I've got uh, thanks driver for you. Oh, deal, Gwinner. <laughs> uh, Gwinner. Neil Sandwell would like Scylla to know that uh, they passed your statue earlier today. I hope there's photo proof of that, Neil, because we always ask for photo proof of the Scylla statue. We like to see, don't we? Uh, Alex Clark, hi both. Maggie, I'm so glad you're here. Yep. I've submitted a load of new timetables to the traffic commissioner, right, yep. but not heard. Right. Any chance you can have a word with the traffic commissioner for me? I know you have a direct line. Well, I know that traffic commissioner's on the holiday, so um, I'll have a little route round in their inbox. And can you say that in Welsh just to help Alex out? Uh, I heard them like a holiday. Uh, inbox, uh, ping, ping, <laughs> lung, lung. Okay, uh... Pauline Ainsley is here, says gutted no mention. Pauline, you've just had your mention. You've got to be patient. Uh, Philip Jack Fortinbra uh, is here. Um, Erica Ann Deacon is here. Oh, I've been hearing about her. She's a um, West End actress. Yep. Um, the times I've seen her around <laughs> the West End at two in the morning. Pissed up. Yeah. Yep. Um, Melanie Fairley says she's been waiting. She was waiting for the sixty nine bus for an hour last it's week. It's a popular service, Melanie. <laughs> the sixty nine er. Um, Colin Rhodes Neils is here. He says hello, you lovely pair. Oh, thank you. Um, I think he says hello to you and all. Uh, lots of people saying they've had a long wait for the sixty nine. Yeah, the sixty nine's a lot. It's, it's honestly it's stop, start, stop, start. If you know what I mean. Erica and Deacon loves your sunglasses. Well, it's yeah, it's because the office lights. <laughs> Um, Stefan Butler is here. It says, evening, Maggie and Jamie. Hello, I know him. I think Stefan's in Belgique at the moment. Is he out doing acting, is he? No, he's there with the family. Oh, and they're on a holiday. On holiday, yeah. They've, um, they went to an amusement park called Pooland or something. Oh, right. <laughs> Stefan, what was the name of your amusement park? Poopland or something. Poopland. And he's been for Belgian chocolate today and had a beer called Bollock. Oh, I love a Belgian chocolate. Do you like Bollock beer? Yeah, I'll drink any kind of beer. Um... Uh, oh, it's all it's smooth. Facebook. Oh, a couple of goats. I saw a couple of goats then. I saw Sarah Simpson's name. I know Facebook. We're missing loads of names on here because it's um. He's doing some kind of stupid jumping up and brown and down. Yeah. Uh, Philip uh, Jacques Fordenbrand. Can we wish Sharon and Graham Greenall a happy twenty first anniversary? Yep. No, we can't. Unfortunately, they're lurkers. <laughs> Not allowed to. <laughs> it says they're lurkers. Sharon Graham. 
Happy anniversary now. Uh, if you're Lurikin, get commenting and press that like button. Yeah, interaction. Interaction's needed, even if it's just an emoji. Um, Martin Garten Spence uh, wants an ice creamy mayo. Mm. I think that's in his jacket potato. Chris Prinder would like to know: Do you work Vice, Maggie? Oh, I used to, darling. <laughs> I used to do the Vice. The stories I could tell. You're still uniform, though, aren't you? What? You're still uniform. Did you never want to be like whatever what? Tosh was in the bill? Where they could wear their own clothes. You see, if you, I wear my own clothes, I get spat at, I get prodded, I get people laughing at me. What about <laughs> this? <laughs> opposite. <laughs> it's the complete opposite. Do you have a body cam on now? Well, I'm not telling you whereabouts of the body it is, but yeah, I do. Uh, Sarah Simpson says, hello to Jamie and Maggie Bog. Hello, hello Sarah, both darling. Well, how's Peggy? Peggy's all right. She's in the other room, Sarah. You can hear her. She's going to the vets tomorrow. She's going to the vets tomorrow, isn't she? No. Um... Leslie Ann Lynch has sent you a couple of pictures of goats. Um, Mark Hall says it's in a curry now. Oh, I don't right. know what that's referring to. My goat. Uh, <laughs> it's gone back to the owner. <laughs> I want to eat a goat. Uh, Carrie Louise Kalu says she met her husband on the number 63 bus and they've been married for 10 years today. You see, the number 63 is a good bus. That's the one with, with less um, suspension. Um, happy anniversary. Smooth Lots- ride. Um... Pauline Ainsley. Mm. Hi, guys. I live in the next street to you. Big wave. Pauline. <laughs> That's sinister. No, it's not. She's just live in the next street. Pauline, thank you. Pauline. Do you come to our um, events, Pauline? I hope you do. If not, come along, because they're dead good fun. So uh, She's must have been looking on the garden wall, seeing you two dressed up like nutters. We've got, um, we've got a quiz on Friday the 25th of August, and we've got... Um, Bingo on the 29th of October. Is it 29th? Maybe? I don't know. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. You're not coming up for it. Um, there we go. I so, don't gamble anymore. Maggie, um, have you got your trunch in with you? I have, but I'm not telling you where it is. Uh, Stefan Butler, he did have a beer called Bollocks and yep. it was Plopsland, but Pooland is the same difference. Yep. You can tell, Wilf, that I said Pooland. Can I? I was at the end. Uh, let me have a look. Um, I think that's the end. I also want to wish uh, Mark. And Ricky, a very happy engagement. Happy engagement, Mark and Ricky. I've not seen their name, so I don't know if they're he was, here. He was in a was minute he? ago, yeah. He's disappeared. Okay. I don't know what's happened. But, um, yeah, you've got a lovely ring. And happy anniversary to Nibbles and Bubbles. Oh, yeah. Happy anniversary. We don't have, we don't have a Silla song for that, do we? No, you can have a little happy... You can have a little uh, a little bit of Silla. Happy anniversary to Nibbles and Bubbles. And I can't remember the other name. And Mark and Ricky. Graham yeah. and... I want to say Graham and Shirley. The lurkers. Happy anniversary to you all. The this, lurkers. This is just for you. Do you want to look at this? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, is there we go. The best you can do. Yeah. Um, Stephen Butler says, Plops, Plops Land is famous for the ride to happiness. I hear Maggie knows all about that. I've had plenty of happy rides. <laughs> Top Deck is the best. <laughs> um... Martin Garton Spencer would like to know, were you ever taken up the Robins in the Call of Duty? Yeah, plenty of duties up there. Um, I was only there the other night. Um, I'll have you know that I'm doing some training at the moment. And um, I've been advised to do worldwide training. Yeah. So I thought I'd start with Arctic training. <laughs> you know, up there in the snow and where the polar bears are. Yeah, it's the Arctic up there. Yeah, well, I think or so. Or the Arctic might be down there. Well, whatever it is, the snowy bit. Yeah. And uh, a little bit of advice, don't eat yellow snow. And if you do get um, stuck and you kill a polar bear and eat its meat, do not eat its liver. <laughs> because not? if not, your eyebrows fall off and your skin, within a few days, will come off your body. Is that true? <laughs> yep, because the, the liver is full of vitamin A, like a really high amount. And if you get that in your body, you start falling apart. Maggie, I don't understand why you're giving us this advice. I was watching a video on Bear grills. Oh, okay. Um... Eric Randeacon says, <laughs> says, Maggie, um, never mind being drunk in the West End. You went to the clap clinic with her in Soho. I did. That was me, I think. Did oh, you cl- go? Yeah, the clap, clap workshop. I definitely went to the clap clinic with Erica Wait, in Soho. Sip that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of clap clinic. Um, let's see if anyone, any mentions over here that you need to know about Maggie. Anyone got any questions for Maggie? Uh, BG Bear's got a pygmy goat and the allotment behind their house. Um, oh, they're in love with them. They're little dogs, aren't they? And they keep the hedge trimmed. Yep. Um, 
Uh, anyone asking anything about uh, anything for Maggie to know about? Well, there's not much crime here in Scarborough, is there? Especially when it's wet. No, well, nothing happens in Scarborough. No, when no, it's wet. It's been there's a lot of crime though. We're right by the police station, as you know. I know. I was in there earlier. <laughs> Uh, Darren Small, we need a statue of Maggie in Brizzle to replace John Cabot. Well, who was there was the a river. cardboard cutout of me in the library, <laughs> uh, but they kept moving it around. What, to say like, shh, yeah. shh, shh, keep an eye on the buses. <laughs> I'd um, love a cardboard cutout of Cop Maggie. Yeah. We should get some badges of Cop Maggie, and she can do like, um, Maggie could do um, like the Tufty Club. What was the Tufty Club? Road safety. We'll do a road safety advert with oh, Maggie Bog. And little squirrels, was it? Yeah. The thing is, the squirrels are useless on the road. They're always getting flattened. <laughs> what? They're, they're the worst, r- worst road <laughs> educators I've ever met. What's the what? What do what training do we need for the road, Maggie? Look. Stop. Look and listen. Anything else? So you stop on the curb. You look both ways. And sometimes you have to look up what and you, look down. What are you looking up and down for? Well, it's what Auntie Mabel told me to do. Look up, look down, look all around. <laughs> and then um, when the road is clear, cross the road. But if there's a pedestrian crossing, always use that. Don't go running cross roads like he does. <laughs> I've never got hurt, though, have I? Well, no, but be careful. Um, Paul McFarlane says you can nick him any time. Have you been up to Scotland and I've nicked sorted that out the... I've nicked him plenty of times. He's been... On the streets of Glasgow. He's been in the slammer many a night. Was he a, was he a Ned? He's a what? Was he a Ned? What's a Ned? Ned's like a sort of uh, a naughty, naughty lad, I think. Oh, he's a naughty lad, that one. I've had to, plenty of times I've taken him home and said, Die, Andrew! Get the kettle on, he's home. Some questions coming in for you, Maggie. How does Maggie deal with passengers getting a little fondle heavy on the back seats? Well, just let's say, uh, if you can't beat him, join them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Here we go. This is from Wilf. So Wilf Butler is nine. You've yep. seen Will Butler's Lego videos, haven't you? Oh, yeah, it's very good, yeah. Wilf would like to know, Maggie, what's your best roller coaster you've ever been on and what's the best ride you've ever had? Um, I would say it was a Big Dipper in Blackpool. Wilf is nine. Yeah. Big Dipper in Blackpool. I don't know whether it's still there. The big one? The big one. Have you been on that? <laughs> I've always, I always choose the big ones. <laughs> That's the best one? Yeah. Do you like the ghost train? No, I'm not keen on trains. <laughs> Sorry. The ghost bus. Oh, Ghost Bus. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I love Ghost Bus. Um, I'll we'll... tell you, the way that some of these drivers drive, some of those are like roller coasters. Will Venus would like to know, do you have faith in our Edinburgh trams, Maggie? Do they? Did they really need to bring them back? Yeah, trams are good. They needed to bring them back? Reg- like your bowels, they're regular, and they make a good little ding-ding sound when they're on the way. You're up on board, up off. Up on, up off. Um... Chris Perinder would like to know, could you go and work security in Tesco's because they have loads of crime in Scarborough Tesco's? Well, I, I'm, I'm not being funny there, Chris, but since you've been on your holiday, crime's dropped there. <laughs> I don't know whether you've got itchy fingers or out, but uh, the, the you know the goods are up, up to scratch. There's a long question here from Mark Mondo Pearson. Maggie, we live in Hilly Stocksbridge. The local bus company keeps sending prehistoric double-deckers up the hills. Mm. There's always a queue of cars trundling along behind. Yep. Causes so much disruption. Is there anything you can do? Well, unfortunately, the uh, single-deckers uh, have been used elsewhere. So, unfortunately, you've got the old... Um, I, think the, I think they were used on the buses. <laughs> the buses he's using. Down there, around there. On the on the buses TV show. Yeah, I'm afraid that's all I've got, Darrell. Um, it's either that or now. Let's have a look. Uh, Maggie, have you ever used your uniform for something naughty to make a few quid on the side? <laughs> stripping. <laughs> not not naked stripping. Stripping walls. But you do you you don't mind naturalism, do you? Stripping doors. You've been nude in the garden, haven't you? I'm a lover of the nu- the naked body. <laughs> I've been to naturist camps and all sorts. A lot of people reminding us that the the um, the Green Cross Code man was also from Brizzle. <coughs> oh, what's his name? Dave Proud. Dave Proud. A.K.A. Dave Proud. No, but A.K.A. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. And so Darth Vader, in the recording of the film, spoke with a Brizzle accent. Well, we, we know him more as the Green Cross Code man. He nearly uh, I've mentioned this before, but when he came to my school in Formby, um, he nearly wrote, run over Sophie Andrew Ladakis on the way out of um, the school. You see, he's not an expert drive. in everything, is he? <laughs> here she is, is here. Here she is, says hello. Um, Wilf thinks we're both brilliant. 
Oh, we think you're brilliant, Will. We think you're brilliant, Will. We love your little videos. Um, Maggie, did you audition for the ankle shot in the opening credits of the bill? No, but I, <laughs> no, they're not my ankles, but it is my butt, my buttocks. <laughs> yeah, it's the back end of me, the buttocks bit. I used to love the end of the bill. I've been in about three, four episodes of the bill. I've never been in the bill. I was just an onlooker on the street. I was never a character. Pauline Ainsley, there is a video called Maggie Bog. Maggie Bog dealing with a heat wave? Yeah, the heat wave, yeah. Watch that video. We had to do a, we had to do the rounds again this year, didn't we? Pauline Ainsley says I'll need best close my curtains. I can't believe one of our neighbours is here. Paulie, we thought no one who lived near us knew what we got up to. I, I knew it wouldn't take long. <laughs> um, Maggie, what do you make of the old Route Master style buses? Um, Seven Network. They're okay. I mean, they're, they were great when they had conductors on them, didn't well, they? you pop on at the back and the driver's in that little sort of pod at the front. Yeah, the old, little driver in his little cab, cab at the front. What was your favourite type of double-decker? Um, little chocolate bar. What about crispy crispy bits and nougat? What about a bendy bus? No, they they catch fire. Maggie, can I? Is that those crying children paintings? Can I admit something to you? Make make fires. Can I admit something to you? Hmm? When I lived in um, New Cross, when I lived in Deptford, you used to jump the bus. I you? used to often get the um, bendy bus and not not zap my Easter. I'd only go about four stops. We know. <laughs> it's all written down. Do you watch? It's on your equity f- file. For file. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure fair, other people have jumped. jumped fair up. dodging bugger. So. Um, Alison Hilda's here. She says, "Hey up, you two. Love from Ali." I know who that is Alan Bennett workshop at Breton. Do you know Alison? Of course, I know who she is. You do, or um... I know who she is. She knows who I am. <laughs> I love her. Um, she knows that Martin Eggleston. Oh, does she? Yeah. I know Martin Eggleston, Alison. Yeah. When um. When I first started dating... Um, it's when he was dodging dodge. the fares <laughs> on New Cross. When I first started dating Alan, I used to dodge the fares and get the bus from Loughborough Junction to uh, New Cross. To and spend Alan, the used, evening Alan used to share the, uh, share the flat with Martin. Yeah. Uh, Nibbles and Bubbles says, Every actor who came to the SJT at one point had been in the bill and casualty. I've never been in the bill Not or either. casualty. When I started acting and got an agent and stuff, the bill moved to being more of a like soap opera. David Charles will know because David Charles was my agent for a while, um, and it was just dead hard to get parts in it from that point on. Previously, when it was like little half hour one offs sort of things, everyone was getting in the bill. Were you ever in on the buses? Uh, st- <laughs> no, I'm too, far too young to be on the buses. How old are you? <laughs> I'm in my late thirties. You could be a little baby on it. <laughs> Uh, Stuart Cahoon, it's Lee and here's his anniversary on Monday. We've been together for 12 years. Ah, oh, 12 years of crime. Um, Alison Hilda says, my daughter and Martin's boys are cousins. Oh, yeah, 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 I know that, yeah, yeah, I know that. She's a lovely girl, but a very talented actress. You... Very talented actress, that Alison Hilda. Um, right, loves. Um, Maggie... Do you, uh, what do you have to say? Anything you want to say? Uh, just keep the keep the streets clean. Keep the buses crime free. Um, and if you see me on the buses, say hello. Because it's half past, so we're going to have some adverts. Yep, and I've got to go and uh, sort out this uh, house and this house up up the road. Are you not hanging around? Well, no, I've got Bubbles and Nibbles' his house to look after. <laughs> okay. I'm not staying in there. I'm staying. I'm outside in my little van. Stefan, the gorgeous Stefan Butler. Would like us to know. Um, so me and Stefan were Hogwarts school children together. It's a long story, but we were. Um, Stefan was in the bill twice. The first time as a late twenties drug dealer. Stefan was most probably about twenty four then. Yeah. And had like curtains, if I remember it rightly. Second time he was an eighteen year old drug addict. Oh, so he's younger than when those he was two before. episodes were a year apart. Um, David Charles says he's sorry that he never got me a job on the bill. That's failure for you. That's all right, David. We all know that. At least you've been doing other things, haven't you? Like Coronation Street and it, em- em- Emmerdale. It all that. depended on what day um, people were in the office because um, let's just say sometimes our agents weren't as good as they could have been. All right, lovelies. Let's play some adverts and um, we'll be back soon. Do you want to say anything, Maggie? Do Don't I have nightmares. <laughs> You were going to say that, weren't you, really? <laughs> I knew you were going to say yeah. that. Bye! Cheerio. Bye, bye. Back in a minute.
When Mother told me the facts of life, she didn't tell me everything. Take Playtex tampons. Fact. It's the only tampon that comes with deodorant or without. And it's great protection. Playtex tampons. When you know the facts. Calgon, take me away! Indulge yourself in Calgon luxury. Let Calgon soften and pamper you. It's like no other bath experience. It's paradise. Calgon, lose yourself in luxury. Now, brilliant nail colors for today's new fashions. Leave press-on nails in 18 deep, rich, dimensional colors. Cotton candy. Sample. Opal mist. Mysterious. Leave press-on nails. 18 great nail colors you just press on with undreamed of ease. Desert mold. Lovely. Fiesta. Lively. Sugar plum. Lovely. 40 Lee adhesive tabs and 20 Lee press-on nails for a perfect fit. Leave press-on nails. 18 sensational fashion colors. Press on. 23 million Americans suffer muscular back pain. I just get that tightening feeling as if someone's tightening up my lower back. Doan's pills relieve minor back pain for hours. Its special ingredient is found in no other leading analgesic. They're just super. Get Doan's pills. In recent clinical studies, one group used Scope, another Lavoris. The result is Lavoris was more effective at reducing bad breath. To appreciate how much more effective, we suggest you do your own field research. Today's a day. My 10-year reunion. I can't believe it. Back in school, I was on a pretty tight budget. That's when I discovered Suave. Then I started working and tried those expensive shampoos and conditioners. Know what? They weren't any better. They just cost more. So I came back to Suave. I'll bet a lot of my old classmates spend a fortune on their hair. I don't. Suave just makes me look like I do. Oh, now hold your beautiful style longer with new Suave hairspray and look like you spent a fortune on your hair. You know you love it, so do it. Turn on the juice, let it flow. Turn on the juice, let it go. Orange juice when you're rocking, orange juice when you're not. Turn it on when you're cooking, drinking down when you're hot. Turn on to 100% pure orange juice with Florida seal of approval. It's juice packed to standards even higher than the federal government. Turn it on, turn on the juice, turn on the juice. For all it's worth. If you want calcium in a cereal, Just Right is the wrong place to look. There's hardly a grain of calcium in Nutri-Grain or a shred in shredded wheat. I can't find any. Can you find any? In fact, there's no calcium in most major brands, except Whole Wheat Total. Now, besides 100% of nine vitamins and iron, Total is the only major cereal that's an excellent source of calcium. So if you're looking for calcium, look for Total, the only major cereal that's a major source of calcium. Now, you can lose up to 50 pounds and pay just $185. Unbelievable? Not at Jenny Craig Weight Loss Centers. Susan Katz lost weight. I used to apologize for my weight, but now that I have a figure, I like to show it off. Larry Chastain lost weight, too. I was having to hold my breath to tie my shoes. I had to do something. I went to Jenny Craig. Lose up to 50 pounds. Pay just $185. Just call 411 for the Jenny Craig nearest you for what should be your last diet, Looks don't mean everything, unless you're talking about prunes. Now, doesn't this pitted prune look delicious? That's because it's rounder and plumper. And that means it's a sun-sweet prune. Come here, delicious. A woman accused of murder. I just had this sinking feeling of being so alone. Will ex-lovers be reunited? I could stay with you here tonight. Days of Our Lives. Oh. Hello. Hello. I've got my glasses. That's all right. You look nice without your glasses on. Look at those bluey eyes. You've got lovely eyes. Right. We're back. Well, Alan's yeah. joined us, so well, let I've, me... Um... I've just had some prunes. <laughs> Did you? Let me do that. There we go. Uh, welcome back. Um, we had Maggie here. I know. She's, she go, she's looking for something called Pauline Ainsley. Is she? She's, she's just, going off, she's off down Tyndall Street. Yeah, if, if that's the street. Um... We've also got down here. There she is. There she is. She's grooming herself. She's got the pens tomorrow. Having a booster. Um, Pete says he loved those adverts. Yeah, I love putting them together. They're, they're fun, aren't they? Um, oh, them prunes. Hi, Alan. Lots of people saying hello to you. Hello. Um, nice to see everyone. So tonight is Cop Show Special. 
So we're going to talk about cop shows. I've not got it ready. Let me just fiddle around. Hang on. You don't want to see a four-hour class on valuing diversity and inclusion, do you? Cause yeah. We could go into that. Because um, that is my new job. Uh, but let's go into here. Uh, let's go into this. So we're going to talk about our... Top five cop shows. And I think this was um, suggested by Timmy, wasn't it? This was uh, suggested by Timmy Alexis Carrington Ward, a.k.a. Here She Is. Um, Alison Hilda, who is that now Alison Hilda is a friend of yours, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, she is, yeah. Maggie Bog didn't really know who you were, Alison. But I know who you are, Alison, darling. <laughs> Um, Alison was at university with Alan, I yeah. think. Um, Alison said she she played a panicked nurse in peak Ooh, practice. I like peak practice. Um, Eileen, when she says Eileen from Corrie went into cardiac arrest mm. and she picked up the pillow that was flung from neath her head. Mm. She hugged it and looked down as if it had touched her soul. Nobody noticed. <laughs> oh. I think my friend Ronnie was in peak practice. Ronnie from Tenko. Was she in peak practice? Yeah, most probably. I think so. Yeah. Oh, um, my thing where the heart is. Did that have a thing in it? Oh, no, Peak Practice is. So Simon Shepherd, isn't it? So Stephen yeah, Shepherd. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of where the heart is. Cop shows, TV cop shows. Now, we had to. Because there's loads of TV programmes I'd wanted to put in here, like Heart to Heart, but they're, they're not, not cops. cops. They're sleuths. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have the same issue. So, yeah, sleuth shows. So, we've done sleuths before, really, haven't we? Yeah, but we could do sleuths again. Um, David Charles did do a job on the bill. He was a barman in Wimbledon Dog Stadium. Couple of scenes. Um, yeah, sleuths. Sleuths. So these are cop shows. Sleuth. Let's start with my number five this week. Let me get this all ready. My number five TV cop show is... Eh? Cop Rock. What was that? Now, I don't know if people remember Cop Rock. Um, Cop Rock was, I think, in the late 80s, maybe the early 90s. Um, and it's a cop show with a difference. It was on BBC One, I think Monday night, at about 10.30, 10.40. It was, like, late in the evening. Um, and it dealt with really, like, hard-hitting issues. But it dealt with it in its own unique way. So I'm going to show you a very short clip, because we'll get pulled for playing clips. Um, I'll show you a very small clip. So this is when Cop Rock dealt with, it's a drama, um, a person who was stealing babies and then selling them to couples. So like proper, proper stuff. Um, and this is Cop Rock dealing with that. Can you help us? As a matter of fact, something's just come my way. It's what I'd have to call an optimum situation. Young mother, a kid in her teens, smart enough to realize that she's not ready for the responsibility of bringing up a brand new baby boy. I don't know if that makes a difference, boy or girl. No, a boy's what we want him most. A Caucasian child, two weeks old, in perfect health. And how much is this going to cost us? $11,000. Well, that's more than we heard. for one series obviously it was never recommissioned and it was a musical cop um cop show so it was just weird because it was like proper it was all filmed like it was a proper like you know hill street blues <laughs> cagney and Lacey show but then suddenly they'd break out into song um song and dance numbers so obviously it had to be in my list um so yeah cop rock if you've never heard of it um give it a little google and have a watch of some of the songs 
Um, there's songs in uh, courtrooms. There's a song where they're all going out um, out on the beat and he goes, be careful out there, careful out there. So have a watch of Cop Rock. Um, that is my number five cop show. Um, let's have a look at what Alan chose for number five. My first crush. My first, because we were talking about crushes as well, weren't we? Top five crushes. And this was, this was my first ever TV crush, Joel Gascoigne. Yeah. <laughs> From the gentle touch. Oh, I loved it. I don't remember the gentle touch at all. Obviously, I remember her. Ah, and she's from... La, la, la. What, was this the sequel ah, to something else? Or was something else the sequel to it was, that? It, it turned into Cat's Eyes, but I wasn't, I wasn't fond of that. And um, a, a early appearance from Sherry Stump in the background there. Yeah, there the she box is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like Victoria Wood, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> or Maggie Bog back in the 80s. Yeah, I was watching a lot of these recently because they were on... Um, the ITV player. What? Cat's eye? Uh, gen- gentle touch. The gentle touch, yeah. <laughs> so I was um, reliving my um, my love for Jill Gascoigne. Is she like Prime Suspect? Yeah, she's like... like is she uh, the boss? Yeah, you know, it's that sort of typical, oh, a woman, police woman, that, you know, all the blokes are a bit of bell ends around her and all this, and, you know, she proves her worth, and mm. she's a damn good cop. Now you're she rem- listens. <laughs> you'll remember, maybe on last week's, or the, like whenever we were last on, or maybe a bit before we talked about American Werewolf in London yep. and Jenny Agatha being my first like Bush. Oh, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say about that. Stefan's kids are watching. You're going to say about um, the um... Richard Bobbin Stoffer has just said first first Muffy ever saw rock star rock Never... follies. No confessions of a rock star is it? Oh really? In that pop performer. Pop performer. Uh, Will close those ears because we're being rude adults right now. Uh, Martin got play with the Lego. What did you think of Cat's Eyes, Alan? Um, it's all right, okay, but no, I was at a, I just, I just liked her on her own. Pete petofsky has got the Cat's Eyes seven inch theme tune single. Oh. What was Cat's Eyes then? Um, it was like, um, three police women, wasn't it? Like Charlie's Angels, but yeah, British. Yeah, but British. Um. And Maggie was like the cock of the walk with them. <laughs> she called Maggie? Well, I call her Maggie Forbes. Who's she, she, uh, who was she married to in real life? Oh, what's his name? That really nice actor. The one that's Alfred Molina? Yeah, that's him. I thought I thought as much. Um, still married to him? Happily married? She, no, she's over the bridge. Oh, is she? Yeah. But was she married to him? Yeah, the... very happily. Ah. Oh. Yeah, but she died a couple of years ago. Um, Melanie Fairley says Leslie Ash was one of the other cat's she eyes. Was. I wonder who was the third cat's eye? The thruple. Who made up that um, thruple? I can't remember what her name was now. Jason Rigby's on, on the case. I'm sure he'll let us know. My number four is... Oh, I remember that. The Bridge. She used um, to eat um, fries in a baguette. Tuck. Didn't she? <laughs> yeah, she did. Um, the Bridge is... Oh, I want to say Swedish. I think uh, it's Swedish. Swedish and Dan- Danish, maybe. Um, isn't that awful that I don't know where the bridge... What the bridge connects. Is it Danish coming ends? Yeah, Kim and Jens, the bridge. Is it set in Denmark and Sweden? Is it the bridge that connects those two? Anyway, they made an English version of it called The Tunnel. It's not as good. Um, made an American version as well. Made an they? American version, I think, called The Bridge. Made a Mexican version? But that's about the oh. American, the, 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 bridge, oh, the, yeah, the yeah. bridge that yeah. connects Mexico yeah. and America. Um, but yeah, it's a really good series. Um, particularly the first two seasons, maybe the first three. The guy on this this guy, mm. who like I have got a bit of a crush on. Yes. You can tell, can't you? Killing Eve. Yeah, bit of a crush on him. He um, he uh, leaves. I think after the second series, maybe the third series gets replaced by another actor who's a really good young actor. Um, do you remember? Mm. But. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for you. No, no spoilers. I won't. I won't continue that. It's really good. Um, there is a British version called the Tunnel, which is about the Channel. So it's about like a murder victim is found right on the middle of that bridge, mm. and so both both cops have to come together, like from each country, to solve it. Um, it's not the girl from Smack the Pony. Um, so she's a Swedish actress. 
Um, it's definitely Scandi. Yeah, Kim says it connects Denmark and Sweden. Um, so she's Swedish and I think he's Danish. His boss in particular amused us a lot, didn't yeah. he? Because didn't she? Because she's she's um, she looked she's, like she's a bit like Frances de la Tour. Yeah, she did. Yeah, and was like, wow. We imagine she's that sort of actress. She's always on the sigs. She's like a dame, like. and she, she dresses a little bit too sexy, doesn't she? Yeah, for herself. Yeah, yeah. She wears a lot of short leather skirts and stuff. Mm. Anyway, lovely, loved it. And we were obsessed with um, French fries and baguettes one night. We were after yeah, seeing after her seeing eat it. it. Do you know we also like the killing, which is another Scandi drama, but actually. We watched the American one. I know that's bad because obviously the 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 original one's supposed to be way better. But um, we just started watching the American one. And well, the American one was available, and the it. and the, the the Danish one wasn't, was it? Yeah. So that's why we started that's watching why. it. Not because we didn't want to. Um, Scandi noir. Um, so that is my number four. So cop, from cop rock to that, what a what a jump. Alan's number four is. Uh. Yeah, Columbo. Love Columbo from a you know, from a youth. Still do, and obviously those Columbo fans know that it's the um, you know who did it, who and, done it, who done it, and the entertainment is seeing Columbo find out who did it. Um, now, isn't Columbo a sleuth? No, he's a lieutenant. Oh, Columbo. is he? Yeah, he's got. A badge. Oh, okay. He's got. He's got a badge. <laughs> okay. They're not going to let him in, in people's houses. Darren Bramley, I think, was Darren, Darren wrote to us, I think, to say he's got the Colombo box set. Yeah. And it looks like a cigar box. I've got it. Oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never watched an episode of Colombo. Oh, you'd love it. Well, I, I, wanna, I keep promising to show you the Ruth Gordon one. Yeah. Which is one of my favourites. Um, uh, and Leslie Ann Lynch has just asked what's my favourite episode. It's the Ruth Gordon one. <laughs> the one you want to, me to yeah. see. Perinda loves it. Colombo rules. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Butler, the family favourite every Sunday. Yep. Oh, you see, you're all on my side tonight. What? How? How entertaining is it to see a crumpled old geezer like Columbo? Everybody mocks him, says he's a stinking old has been, and he just he just nails them. Pete Petrovsky says he's not a cop. <laughs> he's a lieutenant, Lieutenant Columbo. Doesn't that count? He is, I think. Um, so does his badge. Because he says, could Miss Marple be one of them? No, she's she couldn't because she was a sleuth. He says she did once spray a wrong gun with DDT meant for the roses in Sleeping Murder. Do you remember Sleeping Murder is the one that I'm a little bit obsessed with, isn't it? Oh. I, I can see poppies on this wall. Tear is that, down. Is that, hello there, Gwynny? Yeah, and the guy at the end, hello there, Gwynny. Hello there, Gwynny. Because he knows that she's lived in that house before. Um... Uh, Leslie Ann Lynch's favourite episode is the Johnny Cash episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's in one of them. Yeah. And uh, Chris Perinda has got the same box set as you boys. And the episodes with the little bit, with the little um, posh puppy. What's his name? What are they called? So, dogs with long ears. A basset hound. Basset hound. Fred Bassett. Yeah. <laughs> well, a hush puppy. Slush puppy, because there would be a logo for slush puppy. Should we move on to my number three? Yep. My number three is... I can't really see the whole title there. Why is that not there? Oh, yeah. That's funny. I love it. Police Squad. There's only like six episodes. Yeah, they're they're only about 20 minutes long, aren't they? It's so funny. It came before The Naked Gun, but it's the same character, Frank Drevin. That is my favourite bit at the end when they're doing the credits and they have to stand still. So, yeah, the the coffee coffee will keep pouring. It freezes, but yeah. It must be burning like. Of Drebin's hand. Yeah. Brilliant. I just watched a little clip of it bef- the, just earlier today when I was looking up these. And he goes up to one of the women co- uh, women suspects and goes, cigarette? And she goes, yes, it is. I like the, I like the there's a massive tall member of the... Of the yeah. He goes, you got something on you. And he's just a little big Looks banana like the whole fall. banana falls down. Um, oh, yes. Good. My favourite. Uh, police squad. Um... So if you've never seen it, Police Squad, try and find it. It must be out there oh, on funny, something. Funny. Only six episodes and it's dead funny. Um, they the sort of thing you can watch over and over again, aren't you? Because you miss things, you miss gags. Yeah, I think it's even better than the Naked Gun films, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Although the Naked, Although Naked Gun Naked, films no, have got, are funny, have got Jeanette Charles in them. And Airplane are funny. Airplane's brilliant. 
I didn't know Airplane 2 is not by the same people. Oh, yes. Yeah, so Airplane 2 is by some other directors, and the Zucker brothers who made Airplane have never watched Airplane 2 because they kind of... We don't want to. We don't want to. <laughs> it's like if someone else did an isolation creation. We don't want to watch. Um, so that is my number three, Police Squad. Alan's number three is... Oh, blew me away, these... I've got to change that round. It's moving a bit. Let me move. Right, there we go. Oh, I loved it. Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Happy Valley. Oh. Just, uh, I mean, I knew she was a great actress, but by God, she didn't half show what she's made of there, didn't she? And then, oh, Brilliant. Really the good. The stories. The, yeah. And it's great. It's set up north. Um, I mean, that fir- the first series in itself is just standalone brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and then to... How many series were there? Three? Yeah. But then to bring it back, like, all those years mm. later. Yeah. Just, it, what a good story. But the first series, I think, is my favourite. With Steve Pemberton, isn't it? The yeah. first series. Great. Um, and I'm not sure there's going to be any more, is there? That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think they'll bring it back. I don't know, they might do. She went she, off she, she went off driving in her Jeep, didn't she? Yeah, to she go across. Tired, didn't she? Yeah. Um, I'm seeing if anyone messages about. But sometimes it's good when people just you know they just make three of things and leave it like that because then it just stay stays as a classic. Martin Garton Spencer's all Dame Sarah Lancashire of Hebden Bridge. She is a dame. She's a marvelous actress. We, does anyone has anyone been to Hebden Bridge? What's it like? Because I was saying to Alan we might go there for a little weekend away with us and Peggy, but we wonder we worry it's a bit small, don't we? Well, I sort of know that area a bit, so it's... there's a lot of lesbians. What's wrong with that? I'm only joking. Uh, Paul no. McFarlane says, that's what I call Scarbados, my happy valley. Oh, yeah. We won't tell you what Sherry calls her happy valley, Paul. Um, and it's a big valley. Uh, Nibbles and Bubbles says, great show, captures Yorkshire perfectly. Um, and there's so much humour in it too, which takes the edge off it. That's what I like about her. She's like, a sort of like oh, I'm a cop and I've got... I've got Kid, kid It Oh, Matt and Daft. And, and it's got Rita Sue and Bob too in it as well. Yeah, it? It she's great. a great actress as well. Siobhan. I can never say her I want to say Siobhan Fahi, but I know she's from Bananarama. But let's say she's in it. Um, David Charles says he was in a queue with Sarah Lancashire waiting for his Christmas chicken a few years back. What was she buying, David? Also waiting for his Christmas chicken. Um, Sarah, says, Sarah Lancashire says that she once was shopping at Christmas. In a queue. This is true. I'm not just with the joke. man from the Wimbledon dog office in the bill. No, what are you about? David Charles. Oh no, sorry. Um, and this old lady said, "Excuse me." She said, "I just want to say how wonderful you are. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, it's people like you that make my, you know, you. I'm living my own, and all I do is watch TV. But you really make my world. Oh. And it really it struck a chord with her. What did she and she liked it? The fact that she yeah, said she said, oh, I'm, you know, you're not bothering me, and I'm, and oh. she mentioned it in one of her speeches. Oh, lovely! Yeah, she um, reminded me, David. About David her. might have been in the same in that queue. same queue. It was a Christmas. It was a Christmas queue. Waiting to be spotted for his role in um, uh, probably come. I know he wasn't in it. Um, Annie Sanderson, hello, darling. Annie Sanderson. Uh, she said Pip's been to Hebden Bridge. She said it's great. Um, he stayed in a cottage with Sheila Hancock. Oh, Sheila Hancock. Now, Ooh, she, she was in, a, in TV this week, wasn't she? She was in Six Command. Now, hang on a minute. Annie Sanderson's in NYC. <laughs> Isn't she? What's wrong with that? <laughs> She's tuning in. Last time I heard from her, Annie Sanderson, she'd run away to Atlantic City. She can um, contact us from Atlantic City. Um, so, Annie. Uh, yeah, we watched The Sixth Commandment. We no put, spoilers. No spoilers. Like, it's harrowing. Um, it's upsetting, but it is such good television, isn't it? Mm. It's a story that, like, needs to be told and, like, watch it. And then, I think, and this is like, if you've got elderly relatives who might be on their own, pick up the phone and just check they're okay and talk to them. And I just say, there's not an athletic man oh, in yeah. your life, is there? But no, talk to, them, <laughs> talk to them more, visit them more, because... Um, Oh, it was harrowing, wasn't it? Yeah. It's good telly. The first episode, though, is like playing around in my brain a lot. But, you know, it gets. It I, gets remember, easier I remember to watch. the documentary years, a few years ago. We watched it again on Sunday, <coughs> didn't we? After we'd watched the series, we went back and revisited the true documentary, which it's based on. But Sheila Hancock's in it, yeah. which is 
why I mention her right now. So, Happy Valley, one of my favourites as well. If it hadn't been in Alan's top five, I think it would have been in mine as well. Um, my, what are we on? My number two. So, my number two is, same kind of vein, I guess. Jesus, Mary Joseph and the Wee Donkey. And the Wee Donkey. Um, line of Duty. Hey, boss. <laughs> what does she call him? Gaffer. Hey, Gaffer. Hey, Gaffer. Um, again, what, what a really the, good What was show. The, the nickname of the person that they wanted to H like H from Steps oh that was it yeah so no spoilers um, if no one has watched it but it's really good but we watched it kind of like live in a week way by week it's like week. we've not done that for a long time so this like the first series of this must have been about 10 years ago oh yeah I think and we watched that and then the next series we watched when that was on and the next series and because it's like you see these characters, some characters like from childhood to adulthood, it's so clever, such clever writing. Mm. The ending wasn't brilliant, but it's such clever writing. Cracking show. Stefan is leaving. He's going to Holland tomorrow. He needs to get all the kids to bed. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for dropping uh, dropping in. Um, Lana Doody. Lana Doody. Um, and there's some great, great actors in, in there. Yeah, really good actors. Um, and it's really like, there's like just shocking episodes and shocking moments. And, and twists and turns. Yeah, I loved it. Um, so, Series 4 is the best, says Chris Berinder. I can't remember which one that is. Is it got Tandy Newton in it? Because that was a good series. I loved it. I loved it all. Oh, that was a good series. Yeah. That it's just a really, it's a really good show. Line of Duty. So if you've never watched Line of Duty, watch it. Martin Garton Smith never watched Line of Duty. Don't know why, but just didn't start it. You should watch it. And that guy on the end there, he's one of yours. He's a wee Scott, isn't he? The, um, the, the BBC are really good at making dramas. Yeah. We make some bloody good dramas. Make the, that's the, you know, pay your bloody license. ITV please. make good dramas as well. And Channel, Not... Channel 5 make <laughs> ones a little bit a little bit easy to, easy to follow. A little bit Tracy Beaker. Yeah. Um, so, Line of Duty is really good. Uh, Tan Danny Mays, Tandy Newton, yeah, that was yeah. a good series, really good. So, my number two is Line of Duty. Line of Duty. Alan's number two is. <sighs> All right, you lot. Oh. I'm trying to, I don't know why I'm missing those names. There we go. Mainly because of the Mirren. Is that John McArdle? <laughs> yeah. Um, Helen Mirren and these are, are amazing. Again, it's that sort of like. Um, female detective who um, you know has to fight you know not only fight crime but also fight the bloody the, the blokes system. the blokes the system mom that you know that don't don't trust her and don't think she's any good but she proves she proves her worth now my friend Barbara was in the bill and played a character similar to her can't remember her name mm. and uh, she had meetings with Linda LaPlante for that part no, like just I don't I think Barbara said no it was never going to be her part mm. because but meetings about like that role in the police and what it what it's like and stuff because Barbara had, had had to do lots of research but these are great as well because it starts from when she's sort of quite younger and then it, you know the, as season the season goes on she gets older and in the end she sort of retires um but she, you know it's not an easy life um, you hadn't watched it had you until until about well, until Broad, was it Broadstairs? Broadstairs, I think, and then you started watching them and loved them. Yeah, but you didn't watch them when, like, when they were. Oh on, no, did you? I was must be working or something. Um, but um, yeah, really good, gripping drama. Another really good one that again you watched, like when I when we were in Broadstairs was Cracker. Cracker, yeah, with Robbie Coltrane. Yeah. Um, again, one of those really good dramas. Good, that's ITV drama, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, really good. Um, and Dylan Pascoe. <laughs> That's good. Dylan Pasco is that ITV? No, BBC. That's a beeb. Which is which is Dylan Pasco? Well, did he? Has he got? Oh yeah. What's Sharon Small in? Oh, I don't know what that. Oh, that. That one annoys me, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> right, my number one in my top TV cop shows is. <laughs> Cagney and Lacey, Caggers and Lacers, uh, Christine and Mary Beth. 
Um, yeah, I loved it. I watched that. I, I must have watched it. I must have been way too young to be staying up late and watching that. I have a feeling it was Sunday nights. It was, I think. It rings a bell. I think Sunday it was nights. on Sunday nights. It could have been Monday nights, but I think it was Sunday nights. Um, I'd watch it on my black and white portable. Mm. Um, so I was never really sure about um, Cagney's hair, Lacey's hair colour. Um, I loved it. Uh, Tyne Daly, uh, Sharon Gless. Um, like, had it was like drama as well as cops, like fighting crime. There was all, also all like the family dramas. Yeah, there are issues, isn't there? And issues With and her alcohol, alcohol and family. And her dad and um, Harvey and Harvey Jr. Harvey Jr. slightly annoying. Um, it was a bit like American Scott and Bailey. <laughs> a bit like American Birds of a Feather. Um, but yeah, Caggers and Lacers. Um, and there we are as Cagney and Lacey. And Dix has made a good point. She said she wanted to be Christine. Now, which did you want to be? <laughs> I think we all wanted to be Christine because Christine was um, sassier. But Mary Beth Lace, I think we... Oh, I, th- I, I, I don't know. I was most probably a Mary Beth, never, always a Mary Beth, never a Christine. Yeah, yeah, I think I was. Um, yeah, Tyne Daly. Tyne Daly is fab in it though, isn't it? Mm. I guess I like Tyne Daly more in it, like watching it. And of course we enjoyed doing it, didn't we? We yeah, enjoyed doing, doing it. Our spoof. Well, we got to run around with guns down the Ginnell by Pauline Ainsley's wow, no, house. How dangerous is that? <laughs> if, if, yeah, if, if she'd have seen us doing that, she might have called the cops. And our little ca- our camera fell over, didn't it? Yeah. And broke doing that. Um, loved it, uh, Caggers and Laces. If you've never seen our video of it, you must go and watch our, our trailer for our title sequence for it. Because we have the flasher in it as well. Mm. And um, it was seen by both Cagney and Lacey at um, a little reunion they had together. Yeah, um, we yeah we found out, didn't we? That they, yeah. Done, yeah. That, so what have they done? They tweeted it. Or uh, yeah. So um, Gless had seen it. I think Gless had seen it earlier, and um, and liked it. And then when they met up for a reunion, um, we suddenly heard from um, Time Daily. And she shared it on Twitter saying, look at this, it's really funny, made us laugh today. So we have a feeling that um, Sharon Gless had liked it so much and remembered us that when she met up with uh, old um, Lacey, she most probably got it out on her phone and said, oh, watch this, two blokes in England doing and I think I think Time Daddy's in a Columbo as well. Is she? Yeah, I think she is. I think, um, oh, look, um, Leslie's mentioned it. Leslie, oh yeah, Time Daddy was in Columbo. I'll pop in. Do you remember when um, <laughs> when Liza ballooned a bit? I used to say that Liza had eaten Tyne Daly because they both got a bit big at the same time. Um, Will Venus says, Scott and Bailey's their absolute favourite cop show. Never get tired of watching it over and over again. I like Scott and Bailey. I liked it. Who plays... Is it the woman from Corrie in it? Did um, she write it? Um, Des Barnes' wife. Des Barnes' wife wrote some of, some of it and directed some of it, but she's actually in it as well. Oh, is I can't she? remember what her name is. Um, somebody will tell me your name. Um, but um, they're from your neck of the woods, isn't it? And Leslie Sharp from Leslie not Sharp. just from my neck of the woods, from round the corner, from round the corner. My house. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I love Scott and Bailey. I watch that all in one big sweep. Uh, Leslie Ann Lynch says, uh, "Time Daily's in the Bird in the Hand episode." And Martin Martin says, "We must read Sharon Gless's autobiography." Apparently, there were complaints. He read it from cover to cover on Christmas Day. Christmas Day in the morning. Um, and Gareth says there are artificial intelligence remastered episodes of Cagney and Lacey on YouTube and it looks like it was filmed yesterday. There's even a Benny Hill s- s- sketch. <laughs> it's it's like... so silly. Oh, I love it though. Do you know what other show I loved? I oh, know, I can't do it because it's a sleuth. I'll keep it for another sleuth. When we're doing sleuths. sleuths. Um, right, Alan's number one is... Oh, do you know, I watched the first episode and I wasn't really taken to it. And then um, I thought, no, I'm going, to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. Oh, and then I was addicted. I was addicted to Vera, our Vera. She lived opposite us in Broadstairs, didn't she? Yeah, we saw um, a affair, didn't we? Yeah, she lived, there was an old uh, like hotel that had been changed into posh flats. And I'd bought um, a nice um, bag, which sort of said something, film festival on it. And the lady in the shop said... Oh, yeah. That's Brenda Blethyn's bag, that is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that bag. It was lovely. Yeah. Um, she donated it. Oh, yeah. 
So I, I was camping it around Broadhead with Brenda Blethyn's bag. Uh, Mash Mashy Bimbin says, "I want to thank us, thank us both for keeping his their spirits up during lockdown during the pandemic. That's all right. Oh, you're welcome, Mash Bim Bim Bim. Mash Bim Bim. Uh, Will Venus says it's Amelia Bullmore. Amelia Bullmore, yeah, that's it. Um, uh, Neil says Vera is probably why Henry did forensics. Oh yeah, uh, uh, mm-hmm. college." Silent witness, could that have been one, or is she not a cop? Well, there's there's usually a cop. They have guest cops coming in it every every story. She's a doctor, but she's more. So, yeah, the cops are only they pop in, but they tend to be sort of famous actors now. Um, but Vera, I'd love Vera, and um, people were so like, oh no, it can't be the end. But she's making one more. Dale Ibsen was an extra in Vera. Oh, I can I can imagine that. Will we be able to see him, Caroline? Uh, Did you get to meet her? Brenda Blethyn is great in Apparently her love, little voice says BG Bear. Oh, well, that was down. That's the end of the street, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Um, Gabrielle Chasse is lucky to have seen Tyne Daly as Mama Rose and Gypsy. I think I've got the um, CD of that, Gabby. Now, I, yeah, I all heard that um, uh, the other one was um, Misery. Sharon Gless was Misery. Yeah, was Tyne Daly of the Misery? She'd be good at it as well. I don't think she? so. Sharon Gless was it, I think, in London. Mm. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Um, Thin Blue Line is someone's is Alex Johnson's favourite cop show. Um, David Charles mentioned Dempsey and Make Peace. Mm. It's going to be on my list, but it got booted out by Cop Rock because I thought yeah. you all deserve to see that. Night Night Leslie. Night Night Leslie. Um, didn't Brenda Blethyn do a sitcom with David Jason years back? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. She, she did one with... Um... Oh, she did the one with Simon Callow. Simon Callow, yeah. Which was uh, top one in a million. Chance so in a million. Chance in a million. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Seven Networks just said, I love Brenda Blethyn and Chance a million. And then she did the one about the, the cricket cricket team, but I didn't really fancy that. Um, your mum and dad used to like it. <laughs> Should we see if uh, Nibbles outside and Bubbles edge? can phone us? Mm? Do you have your Wi-Fi at the moment, Nibs, Nibs and Bubs? You can do a little phone if you want on what, WhatsApp and say hi. On, if you've on got it. WhatsApp. If you got it, phone us on WhatsApp and we'll say we can. You can say hi to everyone. Will that happen in about twenty seconds? It will happen when they hear from this. I've got to keep my eye on my phone. Oh, they might not be able to do it because they might be out in in parks. Uh, Jay Shaw loves blue healers. I think someone else mentioned blue healers. It's not Australian. Yeah, uh, Paul McFarlane. I absolutely loved blue healers. I've never oh, seen, right. blue I've never healers. seen blue healers. Um, let's see if Chris or Shari are going to phone. I don't know if they can. Um, Shari or Chris have said they'd love to get into extra work sure it'd be easy around here like Leeds I would imagine Leeds is where the extra agencies are what I'd do is get in touch with Emmerdale and ask who they use to get their extras through and then yeah. phone that way or they might not be able to they can be fun days being in there. I did an advert with there was about 300 extras um, and they all arrived on coaches it was long days. Extras are treated a little bit badly. The Corrie extras were lovely when I did Corrie because they're just like, there's about six of them just hanging around in a room and they go in and go, oh, okay, you four come and sit in the Rovers with us. Here we go, let's see. Let's see if we've got them. Hello? Hello? Can you see it? <laughs> can you see it? There's... Are you looking at us? There they are. Hello! Oh, hello, guys. I'm going to move you close to the Hi, microphone so people can hear you. Oh, thanks for for staying in and saying hello to us rather than being out on the park. Oh, it's perfect. It's our afternoon rest time. Oh, I feel down. We just say it's nice to watch you during the day. It's great. Where have, yeah. you, oh. where have you been this morning? Magic Kingdom. What have you ridden on? Oh, go on. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Japan. Yeah, Big like Thunder Mountain, yeah. the Tiki Room, what? Tiki Rooms, and we had a lunch. <laughs> there they are. Can you see them? I don't know. Can you see them? Can you see them? I don't think they can see them. I don't think you can see them. Are you looking at them? So what's the, what's the rest of the day planned? Oh, we're going to do some more eating. More eating. Eat around the world. Yeah. Eat around the world and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't eat my baby. <laughs> eat babies. All right, lovelies. Thank you for phoning in. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. 
Oh, isn't that nice that they've put a part of their day to see us? Yeah. They're lovely. Uh, You're very touched. Erica says, yeah, Leeds for extra work <coughs> would be the place to, to contact. Um... Uh, Gareth from Porto says nibbles and bubbles deserve the couch. They do, honestly. We we have we will we'll have to sort that out, won't we? Yeah, we'll get them here. Chris works evening, so it'll just be bubbles. Um, we'll have to wait till he's on holiday. Imagine uh, when they're on holiday, they're on holiday, aren't they? Yeah. Let's have a little ending. Um what do we have to advertise? Anything? Uh, no, I hope you enjoyed our video at the weekend, the QSC girls. Yes, if you've not made, watched it, go and watch they it. They made a comeback. Um, with a little Amy Turtle um, gag. Amy Turtle cameo, uh, little um, reference to the This Morning Runner scandal, and the Prison of Cell Block H top dog plates. Um, so yeah, watch that and comment. Like the main thing is comment because if you get we get comments, it's interaction. So give that a watch and give it a like. Um, are we going to hang out for a little after, yeah, we'll have a little, after party? We'll have, little, we'll have a little chat. We've also got the quiz night. So if anyone is in Scarborough, Pauline Ainsley, um, August the 25th, Friday night, it's £5 a ticket. Um, we'd love to see people there. So get in touch and we can give you all of the details. Sarah would like to know, did Peggy enjoy her birthday present? She did. She loved it. They sent the, the two little toys. And the little donut, squeaky uh, donut. Yep, and the little bags of treats, which she loves. Yeah. She loves a little yellow bear. I think I sent um, Joel a photo of that. Oh, yeah, that little yellow monkey bear. Yeah, she was coming. She does it. love it. Um, we will leave you with a little song. I'm going to keep my eye on uh, the YouTube police in case they pull us off. Stay and watch this, Deeks, because you'll love it. Um, so we will we'll hang around after this, but um, have a watch of this, and we'll see you in a moment. This is fantastic. <laughs> It's Liza with a Z, pas Lisa avec S, car Lisa avec S, face spaz. Donc Z au lieu de S, Lai au lieu de Li. Dites comment je dis donc Liza. Si mon nom était Ad, je serais Ad. Mais mais l'envers, ce serait Ad. Si je m'appelais Rousse, je serais Rousse. Avec Rousse, c'est insensé. Ou Sally, ou Marette, ou Ginger, ou Faye. Mais si on est Liza, pour toujours expliquer. C'est Liza avec Z, pas Liza avec S, car Liza avec S, face pas. Donc Z au lieu de S, Liza au lieu de Lee. Dites comment je dis, donc Liza. Oh, et encore, je n'ai pas tout dit. Il y a une autre chose qui m'ennuie. Souvent, je tends quelqu'un sur ma chemin qui dit, Voyez, Lisa Manoli, au oh, Manoli, au oh, Miniola, au oh, Minoli, au oh, Minolai. Ça me brise. Et puis deux M, puis deux L et I, les deux aînés doublés font un pas nous et encore deux L, puis les derniers I prennent ces anciens Minelli. Liza Minelli, it's Italian, la faute de papa, il sait comme ça. Et encore deux L, puis les derniers I prennent ces anciens Minelli. Liza Minelli, it's easy, it's easy. See, it's Lizzy. No, Liza. Oh, it's Liza with Z, not Lisa with an S, cause Lisa with an S goes snuds. It's Z instead of S, line instead of V. It's simple as can be. See, Liza, then M I double N, then E double L, then double P N goes not new, then E double the L. End it with an I, that's what we say. Minelli, Liza Minelli. It's easy, it's easy, it's Lizzy. No, Liza! Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Um, I see she had a sig, sig on the first one. Yeah, it's fab, isn't it? Yeah. Liza singing in French. Yeah. Um, she does a whole album in French with Charles as Um But it's fab, isn't it? Mm. I loved it. A little little find there for you all. Um, Paul McFarley says he prefers Scylla with a C. <laughs> it's Scylla with a C, not Scylla with a S. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Jason Brett. Hi, guys. Sorry we're late. Jason Brett, you're very late, my love. He says, we've just been to a residence meeting and met a gay couple who live two doors down who are called Will and Jack. Couldn't make it up. <laughs> um, lots of love for Liza. Menelie. 
Martin says the Liza wig is not up with the Elaine Page wig. It's not, is it? It's a no. bit. The Liza wig's a bit smithy wig. I think isn't it's a it? smithy. It's a smithy one. I think it's in a bag that is called the Liza wig. It is. Most probably. <laughs> Um, Jamie wore it best, says Neil Sandwell. Hi, guys. Jill Barron. Hope you're okay. Hi, Jill. Hi, Let's Jill. from you. Um, Scylla says she was never asked to sing in French. Is that true, Scylla? I'd love to see if there's a Scylla album. Because I found... A, oh, what was it? I found an album of Scylla's on in, Instagram. Um, and it's called Scylla Black Grooster Hoots. <laughs> and it's Scylla's Grooster Hoots. Um, so just with a German... Label on it. I don't know. It's like maybe Den it, Denmark, Denmark, or or but yeah, Silla's. Um, maybe you did sing something in in foreign. Um, we still need, we still need to do the Oxo challenge. We do need to. Do, we've got we've I mean, got the Oxo veggie from Joel, Oxos. From Joel and Sarah and Elaine. We need to get. We just need an orange. Oranges. Maybe we'll do it on my birthday. We could do it. My birthday's on a Wednesday. I don't know if we'll do a Wednesday night on my birthday. We might do. Excuse me. We might be going out, mightn't we? You might be surprising me with a little trip somewhere. We might see our friends on here. Did it on my birthday. It's my birthday in a few weeks. Three weeks. Two weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Um, and we've got to, we're making plans for our October bingo. Yes. So the October bingo is Sunday the 29th of October. It's not on sale yet, but we'll let you know. And we'll have a little special code so you can book early if you want to come. And we've mentioned that um, part of the show, um, Sherry will be grot bags. Yes. But the first half of the show, we've decided... It's going to be a psychic medium. So for hour. those who come to see it, you will finally meet Divinity. So yeah, you're going to meet Divinity in person. Um, and she'll and be she's got a sidekick. Well, is she going to... I don't know who will be there yet. No, I know. I, I'm not, that's why I've not said anything. There will be another psychic with her. It might be Derek Cora. It might be Sally Morgan. Um, Ish. But there'll be, yeah. There'll be uh, another psychic there. So we'll be doing readings. There will be, of course, bingo. But it's not... We keep saying it like... It's not just bingo. Those of you who've been to it know. It's not just an afternoon of bingo. It's... Um, the Eat Me Boys like to say it's a variety show, and it is, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's you get to see loads of characters, you get comedy, you get lots of fun and games. Um, so yeah, we interact with our pe- our pe- we don't pick on you, but we, you know, we, you're included. No, it's not. It's, it's it's not at all like you should be nervous about being there because it's dead good fun. Um, Will Divinity be up to the standard of the Scarborough Working Club, Working Men's Club medium, says Jason. Oh, I think she's going to be better. I think mine will be a bit like him, Jason. Yeah. Um, Alison Hilda says, lovely to see you both. Had a good giggle. Oh, Thank nice you. Nice to see you, darling. Got to go and do mum taxi stuff, pick up kids and whatnot. Oh, we had some great times, didn't we, love? Down, down, down in Breton. Um, Coral Daft already booked our trip to Scarborough in October. <laughs> Cannot wait. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's coming back. Um, Chris Perinda says he's on holiday, so he'll be there. Yeah. Now, Chris, we need to convince. I think Shari might have gone back, gone to the laundry to pick up your pick up your smalls. Um, we need to convince you to change your rehearsal date or time so you can come to our quiz. What time does rehearsal finish? Because if rehearsal finishes at like eight, you could then come along anyway. But try and like move it like an hour before. Like well, it's not just about it's not just about showering him. It's Rachel, the other cast. Rachel will be all right with it. I'll text Rachel and ask her. She loves isolation creations. Um, but we'd love you to come to our quiz. It's gonna be and it's Brandy's birthday quiz. So you gotta be there. Yeah, and there'll be uh, afterwards. Yeah, because Brandy's having a little birthday party. Um, Jason Darcy, looking at trains as we speak. Fabulous, Jason. Cheapest way, I think, is going to be get into London, London to York, and then York to Scarborough. Book everything separately. But Jason is a weekend entertainer. He knows this. There is a cross-country as well to York, but I think that tends to be a bit more expensive. But if you book it all in one go, it looks dead expensive. But if you book it in little blocks, it's cheap. Jason knows this. Um... Yeah, we've got quite a few coming back, haven't we, to see it? See that to the October one? Yes, I hope so. I hope so. But we understand if you can't make it, you know, we're not we're not like we're not gonna like fall out with you. Bloody hell. 
Um, um, is it, we, we do we do appreciate it's a long way and it's expensive. Martin Garden Spence, it, Martin Garden Spence is currently trying to book a medium for a psychic night at their hotel, um, and he says he's amazed they haven't called already, saying I think you want me. Um, you should um, go up and do that. <laughs> <laughs> Divinity could be your <coughs> psychic, Martin. Um, Rick Selfridge is here, just arrived in America. Says, sorry lads, I had to work. I love your shirt, Alan. Jamie, how was Malaysia? Rick, you're the only one that's asked. Um, it was good. It was ace. I was um, kind of there and back, really. You were busy. So, um, it I took was... you ever such a long time to get there, oh, didn't it? Yeah, it took ages to get there. I flew from Newcastle for some weird reason. I had to fly from Newcastle to London to get on the London flight. If I tried to book it from London to Singapore, I couldn't book it. But if I booked it from Newcastle to London to Singapore, I could book it. Weird, I don't know. But I got upgraded on both flights, Newcastle to London, which isn't that great, but sitting at the front of the plane. And then upgraded London to Singapore. So I sat in like the flatbed seats, which was amazing, for, especially for a flight like that. Uh, coming back, not so amazing, but I sat on the very front seat of the whole plane and had the whole row to myself until about takeoff. And then something happened upstairs. I was on one of those massive planes in first class to seats up there. Some, some seats broke down or something. So about six passengers had to be moved from upstairs to downstairs. I don't know what was going on, but they all came down really grumpy. Grumpy Arabs came down and joined me on my row. So I had a whole row to myself and they said boarding complete. So I was like, yeah, row to myself, flip up the arms, make a little bed. Suddenly I was joined by angry people from first class. But, you know, it was all right. I was on the front so I could stretch my legs. And another thing we need to do is we need to wish Richard Bobbin stuff for a birthday. Telegram. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Richard Bobbins. Happy birthday, Richard. Is he in August? Is he a Leo like me? And the lovely Neil Sandwell said, when in, when in October are we doing our bingo? October the 29th, which is a Sunday. I think it is half term week. So you should be able to come, I think. So is it the beginning of the half term or the I end? I think so. I think it's the beginning. You'll know. Beginning or tail end? The, the Sunday just before Halloween. So come along. You'll miss the Strictly Results show, but, you know, who wants who, who wants to miss that? You can get the spoilers Divinity now online. Divinity will give you those. Yeah. Um, Paul McFarlane says, I will be back to Scarbados, but will Scarbados be ready for me when it happens? You, We're always ready for you too. When you're ready, Paul, you come and come We're and always here with our open arms. Uh, Pete Potosky says, York to Whitby, two and a half hours across the moors for two pound... All, all bus journeys in Yorkshire at the moment are £2. So you can actually get a bus from Scarborough to Leeds for two quid. Takes eight years, but... Takes um, ages. Takes about three hours, I think. Yeah. The journey from Scarborough to Whitby on the bus is a beautiful little trip. Oh, the little birthday boys got food poisoning. Oh, no! Oh, it feels ro- properly rotten. Oh, Bobbin's duffer. It's school holidays as well. Why are you getting your food poisoning from? What did you eat? What have you eaten? What's he cooked you? Gareth says, do a travel vlog when I'm in first class. I've never been in first class, Gareth. But He's um, too busy supping bubbles, aren't you? <laughs> and sleeping. I slept for ages on that flight. Um, yeah, you sort of left. You left one day and then the, you didn't land till the next oh, morning. I was like, it's 24 hours travelling. Well, I had ages in Heathrow. So I had to spend like a day in Heathrow Airport, like um, Tom Hanks in the terminal. Uh, Chris Nibbles has just said, this is somebody who's on holiday in Florida. Got to pick up our washing. <laughs> Take care, see you later. Chris, I thought you'd already, I thought Shari had already gone to pick up your washing, which is why I was saying move the rehearsals while the director was out the room. Christopher Johns Barrymore says, we both make him so happy. Oh, thank you. That's lovely, Christopher. No. Christopher Johns. Very nice to hear. Um... Pete Petoski says, do I drink Cinzano and spill it down me when the seat goes back? No, but one of the um, one of the stewardesses has once spilt a tray of champagne on me. And luckily, your mouth was, was open. Mm. She was very apologetic, and then she got me pyjamas from first class. Did she give you anything else? No, she just apologetic and got me uh, pyjamas. 
Hey. I was already in business for that flight, oh. so um, I was already, I was already in. A no good treats room. or anything like that. Um, no, no treats. I think I maybe got an extra pudding. But I always pudding. I always have the cheese board. Don't I like yeah, a nana? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is the pudding anyway? Could you could you have it? Is it like ice cream or something? Like um, I can't remember. It was choc- There was a chocolate pudding. And there was something else, I can't remember, but I had the cheese do they, board. Do they just do vegan food now, and that's it? So, there's no vegetarian food? No, there's, but you can order a vegan meal, but you, they do now, on BA, they have a plant-based option for every, I guess, every class. Every vegetarian? No, every class. Like, okay. Because you know, if you order in advance, if you order in advance, you never get upgraded. Oh, because you're they need to know which you, way you're sitting. You're in a specific seat. Ah, that's why you don't ask for it. Yeah, so I never I never order in advance because then I might get upgraded. But they do do veggie food now. Um, We're not upgrading the vegetarian. Pete Petrovsky's also said, "Is that an Arab custom?" <laughs> um, Christopher Johns Barrymore. I wish I was able to see <coughs> you two over there. I'm telling you, we would have a blast. Oh, I know. Christopher Johns, whereabouts are you? Where in the world are you? Remind us. He's saying over there, so it means... Yeah, yeah, I think he's in the away. States. I think he's in the States. He's far away, across the sea. Um, Philip Jack Fortinbras says that it might be dodgy rice. Oh. That's given him his food poisoning. Yeah, Ooh. is it too long? Is it rice sitting in the fridge too long? He's, 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 reheating rice is a bad idea. Mm. Uh, Philip Jack also says, a flight a while ago, the rude man in front reclined his chair and knocked a hot cup of tea into young Charlie's lap. Oh, no. And the poor child was lucky not to be burned. They had to move us as his seat was sopping. Oh, I hate when people do oh, that. I hate them. Fierce recliners. I always like. Ch- I always turn around and check and say, do you mind if I recline my seat? Because it's stupid. Because I'm a nice traveller. As he said, the, ch- the trays attach the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you do so it quickly. Yeah, it knocks it and it goes. Oh, uh, Christopher John is in Pocono, Pocono, PA, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, six five oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> North Pennsylvania, North America. We're seeing our, our good friend Sarah on Monday in the Blonde Bombshells. Yes, the Blonde Bombshells of forty two. Mm-hmm. Uh, 43? I think it's just called The Blonde Bombshells, isn't it? It's a show at the um, uh, Stephen Joseph Theatre. And it's uh, we've seen her in it before, about 10, 15 years ago? 15, yeah, at least. Yeah. Um, we saw her in London. Maybe more than we? that. So we're seeing her in that, and it's in the Rhine. It's um, a bra- it's like a band, isn't it, formed yeah. during the war. Yeah. Uh, handcrafted by Gas says, hello, lovelies, from the Isle of Wight. Hello, lovely. Is the Isle of Wight the one down there? Yes, because the one across is the Isle of Man, isn't Beautiful, it? Beautiful, the Isle of Wight. It's where Cock Fosters is set, isn't it? Mm. I like Cock Fosters. Well, that, that's very funny. Uh, Christopher Johns, where am I? I'm going to be in Houston in September and Syracuse, New York State, in you... October. You have a new, new, so new... I'm in America, but I'm nowhere, I don't think I'm anywhere near Pennsylvania, 65000. Um, right, my loves, shall we love you and leave you? Because Peggy's at the fence tomorrow. I've got to take Peggy to the fence tomorrow. Booster. And they're going to look at her Peggy Mountain teeth. Oh, one of her teeth fell out the weekend. You know, the teeth at the front, because apparently we took her to the vet ages ago and he said, oh, don't, you know, don't be alarmed. The teeth that they don't use just tend to start falling out when they're old. Um, but they are like Peggy Mountain's teeth, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, but the front one, it was so wobbly. It was like, it was, it was like sticking out of my mouth. Um, but it's come out, so. Right, dears. Uh, David Charles says, the fierce recliners sounds like an indie band. And it does indeed. <laughs> Tracy 30 is near Syracuse. Uh, and uh, Christopher John Barrymore is about two hours away from NY. Well, if I've got time, if I can do things, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, but my work tends to be that I go over there, I have to meet with clients do my job, go out with clients in the evening. So I'm t- I tend to be kind of in a little work bubble. I don't, it's rare, very rare you've got extra days, isn't it? Yeah. Pauline Ainsley says, just uh, as we end our little live show, my son is currently in an American series. Is it Pauline from the streetway? Yeah. 
He was on a USA flight and the person sitting next to him was watching the series on her laptop. Suddenly the penny dropped and she realised who she was sitting next to. Oh. Pauline, what series is your son in? in Tell us what series your son is in. Um, we would love to know. Um, night night birthday boy. Night night everyone. Um, we will leave you uh, with... What should we leave people with? Um... What have I got on my buttons? You don't want to see Liza again, do you? We'll leave you with the Brookside cast singing um, their hit single that never was. Um, obviously, enjoy, um, what's her name? Julia, Julia Brogan. Brogan. Enjoy Julia Brogan in this. Um, it's been lovely spending a night with you. We might do a video this weekend. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, and uh, if not, we will see you next Wednesday. Oh, yeah. We'll see you next Wednesday as per 8 p.m. And we might pop up. You never know. If we uh, we get a little bit chiddly. Yeah, we might come up and pop on. So uh, we'll leave you with the Brookside gang. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely and, uh, weekend. Lots of love. And remember, you can always tip us if you've enjoyed tonight's show at this address here or using that there. All right, loves. Bye. And here with their own song, let them know. The cast of Brookside with special guest Ruby Turner.